<laughs> Today I'll be talking something that I've kind of been pushing off, which is building my portfolio website. I think I dread it a little because I'm not the best at computer techy stuff. I like things simple and easy. <laughs> I don't want to advertise this as like the best portfolio that will get you hired. My main purpose today is to just make a portfolio to showcase the works that I've done and also to just have something that I can be confident showing people or showing job recruiters when I do apply for jobs. And another important part of this video is that I will be building this website off of Framer which is a website building platform. This video is in collaboration with them but I will be using this portfolio for my future needs. I've used other website building tools in the past and it can be really complicated and stressful but the past couple of weeks I experimented with Framer and I just had a lot of fun. You don't have to code anything. There are free templates available. Even without coding, you get to use these effects and transition features that they have, which make the site so engaging. I have my laptop here. Let us begin. My goal today is just to get through the landing page, which I do think is the most important. This is their marketplace, which has their templates. Gonna pick one just for free for now. I'm gonna look for a template that is specifically for a creative portfolio. I like this one, but I also do like this one. I know that it is important to reflect your own design style and your personality too in your portfolio. So I think I wanna go for something clean. You don't need to get overwhelmed because these are very simple changes. I'm just gonna change this to my name for now. I see that the template is like basically intro, some featured projects, and then like these endorsements, and then the footer. I don't think I need these endorsements, so I'll probably take these out. I'm just gonna delete these. Yeah, but I think if I do want to add something, I can still add section. So I can come back to that later, but for now, since I'm just starting, I just want to get like a overview of what the template offers. And I'm trying to see which ones I want to keep. Also, this frame is for desktop view, and then this one is tablet and then the small one is for the mobile view and i love how you can see how it looks on each one because it does look a bit different for each one i think i'm gonna delete these social elements and i think i'll keep the rest for now i'm still gonna obviously change like the content but as for the structure i think i like this i like that this template lets you feature some of your works like without showing a whole view of like everything you've done so that they can just get a little glimpse of what your work is like. This template also includes all of these other pages like a page dedicated to all of your projects and then resume, about page, and all of these other stuff. But I think for this video I'm just gonna focus on this landing home page but i love that the template includes all the other pages because i'll probably get to that later too yeah okay we got this let us begin so double click on this and i'm gonna delete this i know it's best to modify templates as much as possible so i'm just gonna change some of these a bit this element is separate because it's a component. The term components, like this element, is also very similar to components in Figma. So I think if you know Figma, this will be very easy. I am gonna change this image, but I think I'm gonna add like my personal logo here. I think that will make more sense for me. Let me add a frame. I'll just I'm gonna change the fill to an image and add my image. Oh, okay. Just a little smaller. I think I like that. I'm gonna change this to like an intro blurb that I have. 
I'm gonna do the same for this little subtext. Ooh. Okay, this is the preview feature. I'm gonna edit the photos now from here and then we'll connect back to here. Okay, I just added in my images. It looks like this. My thought process behind this is that even if it's not like a cover image of my work in a very in-depth way, I want to have some kind of teaser into some of the works that I've done. So even if it's just like a brand logo, I think that is good to have in this little intro part just so that they can get a little glimpse of what type of work that I might be interested in. This is the preview. It just scrolls on its own. It's very smooth, which I love. I think I like that for now. I could obviously change these images whenever. I think for now I like it because from just this view, the colors all look pretty soft. I also love this green because it adds to just this natural and clean mood. This next section is for selected projects. Featured work, works, work, works. I also want it to sound like me, but obviously this is not me because this is a template, so I'm going to change this. I also might delete this <laughs> and just add my own section for like a gallery view. I do want to show a little bit more of the works that I've done instead of just two. I'm gonna try this one. It looks a little bit tight right now between this subtitle and the, this grid layout, so... I just did the spacing, I think this looks good. The next section here is this little feature of a specific project. I think I'm gonna add my one UX design project that I did here because it's my only UX design project and I think it could be like a little call out. And then I'm gonna change this cover image. So this is the desktop view and then I see that these other device views got messed up so I'm just gonna edit it individually and I know that if you edit this one here like it won't mess up the desktop view so I love that. Yay! Okay, I think I'm gonna change this color block. I think this is good. And then I'm gonna change this color block to But I think I want to add a section here to feature a little bit of like the about page add section. Because the elements here earlier on the page have these rounded corners, I'm gonna do the same for this image too. I think this black is not it, it's too strong. I don't want anyone to book a call with me, so I'm gonna change this. Email. 
with this link. I know that if you do mail to and then colon and then add your email, then it'll link you directly to your email. So I'm going to add my email here. Obviously, change this. I think I'm gonna edit this text and then just wrap it up. I always feel a little bit embarrassed about like formally introducing myself and like saying all this stuff about myself, but it's what I have to do. I think I'm content with how it looks right now. Let's do one final preview. If I reload it, you can like see all the effects that appear when you first load the page. And I love those little like motion effects. So I'm really content with that. So we have the intro and then the scrolling preview of my projects. I notice that when I hover over it, it like slows down. So I love that too. And then the featured works. And then obviously later I'll attach this too, but or I'll link it too. But once you do click on these, it'll lead you to each specific page meant for that project where there will be more in-depth information about my role in the project and the whole design process. Project feature, my about section, the footer. So that is my design portfolio landing page. It is my first draft, so more iterations to come to make it better, but I do have a custom link where you can sign up for free and also get 25% off for three months if that is of interest to you. And if you are also studying design or in graphic design, I would love to know what kind of work you do, what kind of projects you are interested in, and I hope to do more videos where I can show more of my design process too if that could be fun thank you for watching